It's a long story that brought me to join the fire service. Um, I left home and left school and then joined the army and then I left the army and I was looking for something that was going to offer me that same level of uh, challenge, camaraderie, teamwork. Um, and I sort of stumbled across almost by accident onto the fire service, um, applied for it and I was fortunate enough to get in. Um, just been absolutely fantastic. You know, it was, it was that initial kind of, oh, it looked interesting to actually now I fully recommend it to anybody. So the role of the drone pilot is to attend incidents and provide uh, aerial imagery and uh, support to the incident commander and operational crews uh, with regards to things like where fires are, where they're developing, how they're spreading, um, and then just give that information which supports the decision making and ultimately the resolution of the incident. Uh, the typical call out for a drone pilot isn't as exciting as it sounds. Uh, normally I'll get a request that comes in to me uh, then I have to do an inordinate amount of paperwork um, to do risk assessment, check the weather, make sure that I'm not going to be flying in any controlled airspace. Once I've made all of those relevant checks, then I can attend the incident and then launch the drone and start to provide that imagery that uh, supports the incident commander and the crews. We use drones for a various range of incidents or re various range of uh, activities. So predominantly we use them for operational response and for incidents. Uh, but we also use them for training, so um, next week I've got to attend an exercise so I can take imagery of there, which we can be used on the debrief, so it can improve and develop our training. Uh, we use it for risk work, so when we're looking at premises that we want to take information about as part of our pre-planning of how we respond. Um, an example being is the large high-rise building in Swindon that we took images of so we could again develop plans for the crews. Uh, we do media work, so pretty much similar to this, is going out and flying it around and taking the image that's come back so that people, it makes our um, images and our videos more interesting. Or I could be out on my own at three o'clock in the morning with a police officer um, using a the thermal image capability to look for a missing person in the middle of some forests. We regularly attend, unfortunately, fatal road traffic collisions. And uh, if I'm there with the drone and I actually start taking the scene imagery, which supports them in, uh, in, in court cases, etc. I suppose the most rewarding part for me of working within the fire service is the teamwork, the camaraderie and the various natures of the roles. No two days are ever the same realistically, even at my level um, where I end up doing an awful lot of the managerial side of stuff as well as my day job. Um, even that, everything always different, everything always change, there's always challenges coming out and it's every, every day, to use the old saying, is a school day, you know, you're always learning stuff even after 23 years in the service. If, if you want to do it, it's a fantastic career, it's a fantastic opportunity to join the service or join the fire service. Um, it is changing, it's changing all the time. There's always challenges, there's always experiences. Uh, you may, it's, it's a job that everyone wants to do. And I would say never give up. If you want to do it, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying.